In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the OBS Studio video capture device not showing, often referred to as the black screen problem. This is a common issue many users face, and fixing it is easier than you might think. Just follow along and I'll guide you step by step to get your video capture device working perfectly. First, let's start by opening the OBS Studio application. You can find this program either on your desktop or in your applications folder. OBS Studio is an excellent tool for recording and streaming, but occasionally you might run into issues like the black screen problem with your video capture device. Let's tackle it head on. Once OBS Studio is open, take a look at your main screen. Here you'll see different panels, and what we're interested in is the Sources panel, typically located in the bottom half of the screen. The Sources panel is where all your video and audio input sources are listed, and it plays a crucial role in resolving the black screen issue. Now, go ahead and click on the Sources panel. You'll see a list of the inputs you have added to your scene. Locate the one that corresponds to the video capture device you're having trouble with. It's important to be sure that you're working with the correct source, so double check if necessary. Once you've found it, it's time to delve a little deeper. Next, right-click on the video capture device source. This will prompt a context menu to appear. Here, you'll have several options related to that specific source. The menu allows you to manage and interact with your sources more effectively. What we're looking for in this context menu is the Properties option. Now, click on Properties. This action will bring up a new window that contains a variety of settings specifically for your video capture device. These settings let you tweak how your device interacts with OBS Studio. Understanding what each setting does can be helpful, but for now, our focus is on a particular action, activating the device. In the Properties window, search for a button or option labeled Activate. If your capture card was not showing up or showing just a black screen, it's possible it was inactive. Click on Activate to turn on the device. This step essentially tells OBS Studio to start using the video input from your capture device, and in many cases, this simple action resolves the black screen issue. And that's it. A straightforward way to solve the issue with your video capture device in OBS Studio. If you followed along, your device should now be active and displaying correctly in your OBS preview. Remember, OBS Studio is a powerful tool with a lot of potentials and understanding how to troubleshoot common problems can make your experience even better. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and check out our other tutorials. See you next time.